Welcome to our section on the sun, stars and galaxies. Now, this section of the course is developed by me, Paul Francis, and I'll be assisted in teaching it by Brad Tucker. Now this is one of the puzzles that have baffled humanity since there has been humanity. What is the sun? Of all the things in space, the sun is the single one that has the biggest impact on our life on Earth. We can see a, a beautiful day like today, the warmth of the sun, it causes crops to grow, it drives the seasons. Um, the sun is totally fundamental to human life. And so it's an amazing achievement of the human race that we've come to understand what makes the sun go. We've gone from thinking it's some sort of god or some spirit to actually detailed mapping of the structure inside the sun and the nuclear reactions. And so we're going to cover that amazing story. And to understand that story, we're going to have to figure out the tools we use for this story. And a big tool that we're going to explore a lot of is spectroscopy, something Paul and I and lots of astronomers spend lots of their time oh, doing. Yes. We're also going to have to understand nuclear physics, as you said, because we have to understand what governs the inside of these stars. But once we've now understood the physics going on inside the sun, we now then can all start to apply it to all of the other stars in the universe. And it's quite appropriate that we're filming the introduction here. This is the remains of the Yale Columbia telescope destroyed in the 2003 bushfires. But this telescope um, over many decades played a crucial part in measuring the distances to other stars, which allowed us to work out their, uh, their brightnesses, their powers, and come to an understanding of all the different families of stars and how they all work. In the course, we'll talk about all that, and we'll also go on to talk about how stars are born and how they die. Cue Brad. <laughs> Cue Brad, because he loves a good exploding star, not just because they're fun to watch, but they tell us a lot about the universe. So not only can we understand how this applies to the life cycle of the stars, he said, we can know how it's born, we can know how they live, and we can know how they die, but then they tell us a lot about how the elements, the stuff in the universe is created, including the stuff that makes it to our own body. Once we've talked about that, we're going to go on and talk about how stars are distributed in the universe. Stars are not distributed uniformly across the universe. They're gathered together into swirling concentrations called galaxies, like our own Milky Way galaxy. So we'll talk about galaxies, what they're made of, hint dark matter. Um, then we will talk about how galaxies themselves are distributed in clusters of galaxies and superclusters of galaxies until we go out to the very edge of the universe. So from the sun, stars and galaxies, let's take a look at this section of the course. <laughs> 